So the brass tracks are installed on the turntable here and uh, they are fixed with on each side with three rivets each of the tracks and they're really stable now. I tested it turns, it ends and stops at the same position 180 degrees. It's what I want to use it for just for turning the locomotive 180 degrees and one can also look the space between these table and the, the iron cast pot is a few millimeters. It's also fine. And yeah, it's working. And now I will go to, to create here a connection from the side. Only one run side because it's a, a plate which will be installed on the track uh, system on only one end of a long track just to turn the locomotive for 180 degrees and to bring it back and allow it to run the circles in the other direction so we go on in the next step So the turntable is finished. I built also this small lever here to fix it, uh, the turntable in the right position. You move it like this, turn it, and in a certain position it fits into the slot. And then you have the right uh, position of the tracks. You go to the other way, 100. 80 degrees, there's another slot also here. You move it down, it's fixed. Once again, it's in the right position. You make it up and now you see how it turns. <laughs> So now we make the final test. I installed also on the top here or at the end of the track a bumper and uh, you can see the if the train comes it stops here at the bumper and you can pull the lever so then it's free, freely rotatable and it runs like a Swiss clock. There is no, it's very, very fine gear. So you also fix it and you could, and the train could leave. Also on the way back, it goes on like this. You can once again, the regular open the lever it change position 180 degrees once again you lock it and then the train could leave in the other direction Also, in this position, the bumper stops it. So the project is finished, ready to install it in outside, in an outdoor railway system. It will be built in the next few months.